Hey everybody, uh, Dano back again. Welcome to the Dano channel. I'm really in love with these subscription services, all these different subscription boxes, like you see me do Loot Crate, you see me do Nerd Block. Here's my latest one, it's a little something called Art Snacks. It's really bright, so it's kind of blown out there. You'll see a cool logo for them. Uh, so this is my first, very first Art Snacks unboxing. If you don't know what Art Snacks is, it is another subscription service, this time centered around art supplies. $20 a month and they send you between four to five different art supplies for you to try out and just kind of see how that goes. So here goes on my very first unboxing. Let's kind of see what we've got in here. Just got my exacto. Let me just kind of open this guy up. And here goes. What's in the box? What's in the box? Okay, cool. So right off the bat, what is this? Crink, New York City. Some kind of sticker. Okay. I believe my snacks are going to be inside this cool green looking thing here. A uh, crybaby bubblegum, so there's actually a little snack in here. These are good. I grew up eating these things all the time. I love them. Super sour bubblegum. Um, and we have the menu for this month, which is cool. It tells you exactly what's in here. Let me look at that in a second. So first off, let's see here. That, I got that. Hmm, how do I open this thing? Just dig in, I guess. Little sticker. Share your unboxing with us at Art Snacks. Okay, I guess I will be doing that because you're watching the video now. So let's unravel this thing. All kinds of cool stuff. Okay, so it looks like it's mostly markers or mostly drawing utensils. So I have a Crink. It's a K42 paint marker. That's what this is. Mine looks like it is gold. Right on, highest quality inks and markers from New York City. Cool, paint marker, let me give that a try. All right, next we have Molotow One For All, acrylic premium paint, another paint marker. We'll have to see how well these work on shoes. Hmm. I'm assuming it's red by the color, we'll see. Um, so just to go back real quick, K42 paint marker by Crink, what does it say here? Developed by an alternative street artist in San Francisco, uh, this holds pure paint pigments and a whole lot of attitude. Known as the world's fastest growing art supply line, Crink has become a global brand for emphasizing your style. This marker is capable of writing on multiple surfaces while providing a fine point. So go ahead, show us your artistic skill on anything. Molotow, one for all. That's this little red guy we had earlier. Um, on the topic of paint markers, this is also included in the June box. It's called the Flowmaster, a piece of technology inside the marker allows the paint to be pumped through a valve so it flows out through the nib of the marker. Sounds pretty interesting. To start the flow point, of, to start the flow of paint, gently press down on the nib a couple times, oh, you gotta prime it, and then it should be uh, pretty cool, and it's refillable. That's pretty rad. All right, next two things. Wolf's carbon pencil, that's got to be this guy right here. I do like carbon pencils. Um, all right, very nice, very nice. Unique combination of charcoal and graphite has a smooth flowing feel. When you're drawing your still life composition, they can go from barely their texture to a very bold in a simple move. Um, so nice, what graded? This is a 4B pencil. Very cool. And last in my box, I've got a Copic Multiliner. So a nice little liner pen. Uh, looking for some new detailing ink pen with a high quality mark. The Copic Multiliner is the pen for the job. This pen has pigment based ink. Great for fine art, design, comics, collage, writing, and doodling. We love using this pen to make auto stereogram doodles, a technique that creates an optical illusion, making objects appear as if they're in 3D. Interesting. So I think what I should do next is maybe do a drawing or something, I don't know, do something artsy. Um, so you guys can kind of see me use a little bit of each of these things. We'll probably start out sketching with a charcoal pencil. We'll uh, do some detailed lines with my liner marker, and we'll use this red and gold paint to kind of give it some color. Hmm. What, oh what should I draw? How about something Disney? Who's for that? Anybody? Anybody?